Guys, bear with me. A lot of cards came out for you. And usually when a big stack comes out, I put it back in, but they said no. And that happened. They said, no, keep them. Keep them all. <laughs> so it might be that some of you have a lot going on. The very first card that you get is from Horace. And Horace is saying that your thoughts are very, very magnetic. They're being heard out in the universe and coming back miraculous changes are occurring because of what you're thinking about so be mindful of what you're thinking about uh, and know that you're being heard and it's making a difference not just for you but also across the world right everything's energy your thoughts are magnetic this is going up into the cosmos and coming back down and as they respond to your thoughts coming back down to the planet earth so as i plugged into your energy for august the energy is really strong right now it's really really strong and when i thought of libra and, and kind of tacked into libra i thought i thought myself i thought um how's libra doing with the imbalances that are going on in the world. And I thought you might be having a hard time because you're so good at seeing what's out of balance. So just be mindful of your thoughts. And then the cards came out in sort of response to that question. It's like, okay, how's Libra doing in their lives and, and in, you know, for as far as globally, like how, how are they doing with what they're seeing, what they're thinking and what's going on in their lives? And you got a lot of response. So you have a lot of um, so, sort of divine guidance with you right now. The very next card that comes out is hope right because on our planet there's very much out of balance i imagine that that might be hard for you guys i'd love to hear from you um in the comments how that how this resonates with you um love hope love and acceptance uh, recognize your divine self and choose loving thoughts and she's coming out right next to this one to say you know because your thoughts are heard and are so magnetic to affecting what's going on um, all around you uh, choose make sure that you choose your thoughts wisely choose loving thoughts is what she's wanting to say hope love acceptance and choosing loving thoughts this is another one that comes up to sort of indicate, yes, you know, your thoughts are affecting the planet. They're affecting everyone. You are that powerful. We are that powerful. Your thoughts are magnetic. And as they come back down, they affect things. Uh, this one's about fighting for justice and equality, right? Balance. Equality. Don't give up. Don't give up on truth and don't give up on what you know is right. So you can have a loving and hopeful, um, you know, and, and uh, what is it, loving thoughts, having hope uh, for the world. You can have those thoughts being mindful that they're coming back down, but also don't give up on what you know is right. When things are out of balance, what can you do? So the next sort of channeling conversation that went on is what can you do? I heard, I heard some of you just saying, okay, well, what can I do? Well, one thing you can do is with your thoughts it has to do with, with knowing that your thoughts are very magnetic. And then I also was reminded of this quote, sorry about the airplane. I was reminded of this quote that lives on my refrigerator. So I ran and I got my little refrigerator magnet and it's the, um, uh, the serenity prayer I don't know if you guys are familiar with that if you can read that it's kind of tiny uh, hopefully you can see that um, but this was the message for you uh, to, in in response to what can I do about this uh, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change the courage to change the things that I can and the wisdom to know the difference so change things where you can. That's what you can do. Look for what you can do and not trying to do uh, anything that is not within your, you know, grasp to do. The next card is asking for peace. 
be peace. You got two of these. Be at peace. The high priestess and Azrael is saying to be at peace. Also having thoughts around peace, sending peaceful thoughts to the world, to your friends, to your relationships, to your work. Be at peace in any way you can. Hopefully that serenity prayer as well will just sort of help calm you a little bit. Let go and let God. Surrendering. And that's not the first time that this comes up in, in your reading too. Is the idea of just surrendering where the, the things that you're not able to control, that's up to spirit, you know? That's up to spirit. You will be having some some powerful psychic insights or you know some of you do have some powerful psychic insights will be coming for you and so they're saying um, reflection and meditation uh, can provide some valuable information to you to help you to be at peace and to know where you do have um, the ability to change things and the courage to do that they're asking that some of you may be looking at a life review. Uh, it could be relationships and work that's coming up next that they address relationships and work. So it's like this first row is just kind of about you as a soul and a higher self and your impact in the world. And then it goes, comes, sort of comes back to you. Uh, it looks like a life review for some of you might be uh, having a bit of a life review or deciding to do that in August, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced, anything out of balance. And so it's interesting that this card is sort of the end of the top card, which is about more like sort of you in the world. And the next row is going to be about relationship and the next row is about career. <laughs> Spirit has a lot to say to you guys this month. Um, it's interesting that this is at the end of the, where you sort of fit in with the world and, and now it's going to sort of, you know, the, the power, one of the powerful psychic insights might be the idea that it starts with you, right? And with you asking, what can I do? What can I do? Well, it starts with you. And so you might then turn and sort of look at your own life to also help to sort of manage your thoughts because all of us want to be at peace and have loving thoughts so how can you affect where where you know you do have the ability to change things how can some things change in your life to bring you more peace as well the very next card then that comes is this middle rose is talking about relationships some of you might be it looks like in a hard time in a relationship um, if this resonates with you, the message for you guys is to, uh, the, the, these power of love, these deep emotional, uh, commitments and connections to sort of a soulmate, someone that we, you know, have in our love life. It looks like there might be some trouble in the love life. And so this card is, is not only saying that, but it's also saying to follow your own heart first. You've got to follow your own heart. If it's getting really tricky you know the reason that I say it might be really hard for some of you is because of the cards because that's the message that's coming through it's pretty strong is this angel therapy is coming in to say you know hand us your worries let us take your burdens for you this is the, again the idea of surrender surrendering to how challenging it is everything is happening for a reason it could be this relationships kind of run its course it's time to move on to the next one uh, that, that could be even better that's waiting for you. It could be that this relationship is just sort of, you know, not working out because in some way it's holding you back from a career that, um, that you really want to pursue. Hand it over to God and let go and let God. Yeah, he wants to come back to bring that peace to yourself and loving yourself first. Let go and let God handle what God can handle. Sleep. I love this card. <laughs> Sometimes we get caught up in trying to make decisions. What should I do? Should I stay? Should I go? What should I do? Should I stay? Should I go? I don't know. Decisions get tangled up. And until you make a decision, 
you're not at peace, right? Should I stay or should I go? I don't know. This card, I love this card. I used to do this when I was in this situation. I just, you know, when, when you don't know what else you can do, it's a really good idea to go to sleep. <laughs> so don't hesitate to take a nap in the middle of the day. Um, sleep, in sleep. Your brain's still going. Your brain's still working on solutions to these questions that you had when you were awake, just coming or going, or what should I do, or should I do this, or should I do this? Um, your brain can better connect with spirit to find solutions while you're sleeping. So don't hesitate to take a nap. So they're inviting you to do that <clears throat> to help to help come up with a solution. Some of this, look at this, look at this big storm in the ocean. The ocean is where our emotions are. Big old storm, right? This coming with respect to the relationship, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. This, this actually comes after these two. It comes after after being able to make a decision because you let go and let God and just take a nap and surrender, then a decision gets made for you and you wake up, you know, and there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You might get one of those light bulb moments, one of those, oh, okay, clarity. And with that, there's light at the end of the tunnel. You can kind of see a way through. You can see a way out and a way through. So this is encouraging. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and start making new plans. The light at the end of the tunnel is there, but also notice that he's kind of still in the storm, right? He's still in the storm, but the light is at the end of the tunnel. So at this time, there's a bit of excitement. So hang out with some really great people at this time, at this stage, where hopefully there's been like a, a, a light bulb moment. Um, hang out with some gentle people, your best friends, uh, share what's going on, share the excitement of this light at the end of the tunnel with people who love you and honor you and want you to be happy. And the very next card that comes is uh, the Eight of Gabriel talking about a lot of activity. A lot of activity all of a sudden. All of a sudden. Sudden and immediate results. Important communication. And sudden and immediate results. And it's like once you surrender and let it go and then just notice what comes up. You'll get ideas. You'll wake up with ideas and you'll see the light at the end of the tunnel. You'll surround yourself with wonderful people and things are going to start happening really fast. It does. It does happen this way. It really does. I've experienced this so many times. <clears throat> you know, spirit doesn't work in the same timeline. You know, there is no time really. So for you, it's going to feel just like instant results, just instantly, very, very quickly. We have the end. The situation has ended. The situation ends, and you're finally free of it. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you now, okay? Put all this behind you. It's done. <laughs> That's so exciting. And the next one you get is congratulations. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. It's time to move on to what's next. Awards, scholarships, promotions. Now what's interesting is this one. It's saying congratulations, well done, right? This situation has ended with regard to relationship. Situation has ended. It doesn't mean that the, it's not saying, you guys, that the relationship ended. It's saying that the situation ended. So it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to break up with somebody. Uh, it could just be that you're in some kind of a struggle with, with your, your um, love interest. Uh, and it gets resolved. It gets resolved really quickly. Really, really quickly, suddenly. And that situation has ended. So congratulations. Well done. Time to move on. What's next? Making new plans. It looks like towards your career. 
right? He's kind of indicating towards your career. This is a positive change. This is a really good change, not just in the relationship, but also in resolving that with the relationship, how it's going to help improve your career. Positive change is coming. The next card that you get says, you know exactly what to do. You know that it's a really good time to focus on your career. A time for career rather than relationships is what she says. This is the queen of Michael. Brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, and humorous. You know exactly what to do. You have the benefit of experience, part of it being the experience that maybe you just went through in this relationship. Um, but it's time to focus on career. Archangel Uriel comes in to say that claircognizance is going to be amped up for you at this point. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you. They are answered prayers. So it could be that part of the struggle in this, this situation, in this relationship was having to do with being held back from your work. It could be that you've always, you've had all these ideas about your work. Now you're going to be able to do them. And as you're thinking all of this, he wants to come back. Um, it's as if the, thought, the thoughts and questions that you are thinking are heard by the universe and answered with claircognizance. So pay attention to your thoughts in terms of the ones that you're emanating and also the ones that come back to you. It's like telepathy with the universe. <laughs> will be happening for you guys. Yeah. So really pay attention to your thoughts. There's a really slight difference between it, it being a thought that's yours and one that just sort of pops, plops in there uh, from spirit. And you'll know. It's pretty cool when that happens. You'll know when that happens. You're also getting the Ace of Michael is saying a wonderful new idea that's coming after this one. New ideas are going to be coming to you, and so Archangel Michael comes in to say, you're going to, for some of you, you'll be getting a wonderful new idea. Um, don't allow anything to stop you. If any kind of communication comes up, make sure that you have clear communication with people, with anybody. Don't let anything stop you. It's a really great idea, and in part, it's going to be divinely guided and an answer to what you're asking for. And, uh, as far as what you're wanting. The next card that you get is the Emperor. This is from Uriel. The Emperor, stability and efficiency, taking charge and having some very ambitious plans. It's like you're with the wheels, you know, with this idea that comes in, it's like your mind is just going to take off with starting to create the plans to actually make it happen. Starting to set the plans in place, but it's like it starts with a very exciting, very ambitious idea. So lots and lots of ideas about how you could do this thing that you've always wanted to do or that you would just love to do. Keep your eye on the big picture. Leave the details to others. And now your best friends are wanting to come back in, you know, keeping communication open with your best friends, people who love you, uh, talking to them about everything. Um, they might have some ideas for you as well. Again, your experience will help lead you to success. For some of the experiences you've been through, you'll be able to use what you've learned from some of those. The King of Gabriel is generous, inspirational, dramatic, and very driven. Yeah, ambitious plans, right? Lots of ideas, lots of ideas. Keep your eye on the big picture, and you're also getting the giraffe is saying to keep your eye on the big picture. Keep your eye on the big picture and leave the details to somebody else. Leave the details to others. Surrounding yourself with gentle people. So there may, these might be the others that you want to, you know, sort of bring in to work with you to help make this thing happen. Help make it sort of come to life because the very next card that you get is to dream this into being. The lizard comes. Lizard spirit is the one who talks about bringing your dreams into reality. Dream it into reality. Talk about it. Think about it. Dream about it. Right? Deliberately send it out. 
here and it will come back to you right back into your own mind <laughs> with ideas and ways to bring this into being. It's time. You get the chariot. Now what's interesting about this card is in the tarot it usually means kind of something else. But in your reading, in this context, and where it wants to be placed, what this card is saying is um, determination and career advancement is what this card is saying. And it's as if you are the leader, you are the driver of this chariot of both horses, black and white, right? Both horses, um, divine feminine, divine masculine energies are both involved in bringing this thing to life, to, into reality, and it's two horses running, right? They're running as if it's time to go, it's time to take action, it's time to put this, bring this into reality, taking the steps to put to bring it into reality. And it feels like definitely because you're the leader of it. I mean, look at that. Look at all these cards that you get that are just like one person, just kind of one person going like this, like you're the leader. We start with justice. Look at his posture. And then we have the high priestess. And then we have Osriel, all with this kind of posture, right? The emperor has his wings out to the side like that. All of these with their arms out like that, like you're the leader holding on to the idea, the big dream, the bigger picture and letting others tend to the details to make it happen. And you're just going to be taken off. That's what it feels like. There's a very swift energy to this. Can you guys feel that? It's like, it's like from, from how you are in the world and your thoughts and how they can affect everything to uh, maybe a challenge in a relationship to resolving that challenge, going into your career, having your dreams answered, knowing what you need to do, delegating it out, being the leader, and having it start. <laughs> That's kind of the energy that we're in in August. It just feels palpable, fast. Things can go fast, really, really fast, and it feels like it's going to go fast for you guys in some really great ways. I love you so much. Have a wonderful August. Until next time, take really good care of yourselves, and we'll talk to you soon.